I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the origin of biopotentials. Let us start discussing about the nerve impulses. Nerve cells or neurons are excitable. When stimulated, they undergo chemical changes that produce tiny traveling waves of electric electricity. Nerve signals are impulses. These pass to other neurons eliciting similar response from them. Throughout the nervous system, information is conveyed as tiny electrical signals called nerve impulses or action potentials. These impulses are the same all over the body about 100 millivolts in strength and lasting just 1 millisecond. Now we will discuss about excitement and inhibition. When neurotransmitters on their receptors sites, they can either excite or inhibit the receiving cell. Responses are equally valuable in relaying messages through the nervous systems. To excite a receiving cell, positive sodium ions flow into it, depolarizing the membrane in a similar way to a nerve impulse. The depolarization depolarizing effect spreads through the membrane for a few milliseconds, fading as it does so. If further signals enter the signal, they may become strong enough to file a new nerve impulse. To inhibit the cell, negatively charged particles rush into the cell. The negative effect spreads through the cell membrane and prevents its excitement. Now we will see about active transport and passive transport. When a cell membrane moves molecules or ions uphill against a concentration gradient, then the process is known as active transport. The transport of the substance through the cell membrane occurs by diffusion is called passive transport. The diffusion and drift process give rise to membrane potential. Let us see about electrode potential. The interface of metallic ions in solution or with their associated metal results in an electrode potential. The voltage developed at an electrode electrolyte interface is designated as half cell potential or electrode potential. In the case of metal solution interface, electrode potential results from the difference in the rates between two opposing processes. They are passage of ions from the metal into the solution, combination of metallic ions in solution with electrons in the metal to form atoms of the metal. Let us see resting and action potential diagram. Let us see about resting potential. Various ions seek balance between the inside and outside of the cell by diffusion and drift process give rise to membrane potential. The membrane potential caused by the different concentration of the ions is called the resting potential of the cell. Resting potential is defined as the electrical potential of an excitable cell relative to its surroundings when not stimulated or involved in passage of an impulse. It ranges from minus 60 millivolt to minus 100 millivolt. The nerve and muscle cells permit the entry of potassium and chloride ions. It blocks the entry of sodium ions. The permeability of sodium ions is about 2 into 10 power minus 8 centimeter per second and for the potassium and chloride ions it is 4 into 10 power minus 6 centimeter per second. Let us see the action potentials. The nerve impulse is based chiefly on movement of positively charged sodium and potassium ions through the neuron's cell membrane. Impulses 
travel at speeds between 1 and 120 meter per second throughout the nervous system information is conveyed as tiny electrical signals called nerve impulses or action potentials when the electrical impulses arrives at the junction that is synapse it triggers the release of chemicals called neurotransmitters they cross the incredibly thin gap between the membranes of presynaptic and postsynaptic neurons they either trigger a new impulse in the receiving neuron or actively inhibit in from firing let us see about depolarization and repolarization the various ions seek a balance between the inside and outside of the cell by diffusion and drift when the cell is in resting state then it is said to be polarized the process of changing from the resting potential state to the action potential state is called depolarization when the cell fires however the outside of the cell becomes momentarily negative with respect to the interior a short time later the cell regains the normal state in which the inside is again negative with respect to outside the discharging and recharging of the cell is known as depolarization and repolarization respectively regardless of the method of excitation of cells or the intensity of the stimulus this is assumed to greater than the threshold of stimulus the action potential is always the same for any given cell this is known as all or nothing law relative refractory period absolute refractory period is the time duration of the cell non response to further stimuli it is about 1 millisecond in nerval nerve cell following the absolute re refractory period there is a brief period of time during which another action potential can be triggered but a much stronger stimulation is required this period is called a relative refractory period conduction velocity the rate at which an action potential moves down a fiber of a nerve cell or is propagated from cell to cell is called the propagation rate or conduction velocity the conduction velocity varies in nerves depending on the type and diameter of the fiber and is from 20 nanosecond to 140 millisecond but in hot muscle it is very slow here ranging from 0.2 to 0.4 millisecond due to the difference in permeability the concentration of sodium ions inside the cell becomes much lower than the outside the cell since the sodium ions are positive the outside of the cell is more positive than inside the concentration of potassium and chloride ions is negative on the inside and positive on the outside an equation relating the potential across the membrane and the two concentrations of the ion is called the nernst equation that is e is equal to minus rt by nf ln c1f1 by c2f2 where r is a gas constant its value is 8.315 into 10 power 7 earths per mole per degree kelvin t is absolute temperature it is in degrees per degrees kelvin n the valence of the ion f the faraday constant c1 c2 the two concentrations of the ion on the two sides of the membrane f and f2 respective activity coefficients of the ion on the two sides of the membrane the approximate value of the resting potential is minus 70 millivolt the resting potential 
ranges from minus 60 to minus 100 millivolts.